What's good, what's good everybody? YouTube, thanks for watching, man. Today I want to go over a uh, 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 post, an email from a recent subscriber. Subscriber, recent subscriber. See, ever missed one. Thanks for subscribing, man. Look, man, he basically, I haven't read this already, but he basically got a 2004 PT Cruiser with 85,000 miles. He complaining about uh, it overheats only when the AC on. Well, I think it actually overheated when he turned the AC on, but uh, I think he got random overheating issues going on. After reading everything, he's assured me that he have a new fan. He took it somewhere, they put a fan on it and a thermostat and got his intake gasket replaced. Uh, he drove about three miles down the road. It began to overheat again. So he took the car right back and it was boiling over at the radiator cap. So they put a radiator cap on it, but it continued to get hot. The next day the mechanic replaced the thermostat again. Uh, blah 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 blah. Like I say, I've already read this. I'm just going through quick. I've had, I've had people say water pump. I have no noises at all. No leakage found on the ground. Uh, buddy, that's not the way. Uh, a water pump job is to circulate, push coolant through your cooling system. So the fact that you don't have any noises or leakage is not really a good indication that your water pump is working. But uh, we're going to discuss this, man, when I get back. Ah, uh, yeah, man. Thanks, man. Thanks for watching. I'm back. Listen, real quick, real quick, your 04 PT Cruiser with 85,000 miles. Man, what I think you got going on is a partially clogged radiator. Uh, a clogged radiator. Uh, you assured me that you replaced the fan, the thermal. I think you got a partially clogged radiator. Let me finish this. So, what you can do yourself, uh, but you got to keep in mind, you have to do it when the car is actually overheating. So I say dry the car. The minute it started overheating, I would get out. Before I get out, I would turn my heat on, see if my heat are hot. That's a quick way of testing the water pump. I did a video on that earlier. I suggest you go back and watch. Turn your heat on, see if the heat is hot. The heater is hot. It pretty much got enough cooling in there to circulate through your heater core. And pretty much you can come to the conclusion that your water pump is able to push the coolant through your heater core. So then I would get out, verify that fan is running. If you overheating, your fan should be on fan two, step two, stage two, where it's a whole lot higher. Your fan should really be running in high mode. So verify your fan running. Your fan running, man, take a peek at your reservoir. Do not open that cap. See if you got cooling in it. Now, what I want you to do is grab your upper radiator hose Get a feel for it. See if you can, you can't, but it, it's a human hand. See if you can get a feel for it. Because what we want to do is compare the upper radio hole with the lower radio hole. Fall to your knees. I know it sucks, but do it. Fall to your knees. Grab the lower radiator hose. It's on the passenger side. Grab it. What we're trying to do is compare temperature of both hoses. It should be the same. They both should be hot if your car is running hot. If one is hot and one's cool, simple. You got a partially clogged radiator. That's no more than just simply replacing the radiator. Or some people like to go get it serviced and clean. That's risky business there. I mean, radiators are no more than 100 bucks. So, but do what your finances will allow you to do. So get your radiator checked. Now, if they both the same temperature, does that mean your radiator is not clogged? No. I mean, your radiator still could be partially clogged because basically you're having intermittent overheating. Now, See, there's a lot of other things that can cause this PT to overheat. I've done at least three videos on this subject, so I suggest you watch all of them. But I don't want to scare you by telling you the truth, which you may have overheated the head to the point where it's warped. That's the part you don't want to hear, and that's the part we want to avoid until after we get uh, the radiator checked and replaced or whatever. But that's the only thing you left out. You got a new cap, thermostat, uh, you know, and a fan. PT Cruise is pretty simple and straightforward up until you start getting exhaust gases in your cooling system then you got a problem that's a whole nother test and like i say i'm gonna do a whole nother video on that but that's the part you can do and i figure i can tackle this question with a video faster than i can to type in all this stuff that i'm saying now so that may help you and may not but for the most part check your radiator flow it's hard to do it manually, you by yourself. Some They use a machine to do it, but like I say, that's the only thing left besides the head. So if you only got one thing left, then I will go with that, man. I want to keep this video short, man. So uh, matter of fact, uh, again, thanks for subscribing. I see you subscribe. I need more subscribers. So yeah, keep me posted, man. Um, like I say, the reality of it is you possibly have walked that head. 
and but <laughs> that should be your last option do that combustion leak test at the very end when you because this is not this car is not ready for the junkyard it's only 85,000 miles it's not bad at all man. it's an 04 model so do those tests and then go from there buddy uh, I hope this helped you man good luck man and thanks for watching I gotta go